Well, thank you for watching this video. In this video, we're going to talk about how to assign employees to classes. Uh, so I'm already uh, signed in here. This is our home page. Uh, first of all, you need uh, a plus plan uh, to have uh, class tracking features. Uh, so this one is plus plan. Uh, and uh, so first thing we need to do is uh, we need to turn on the class tracking. So in order to do that from the home page screen, you go to the gear here, company gear, and select uh, uh, company settings here, company settings under settings right here. Okay, under company, come down, you will see uh, categories in here. Here's the categories. Right now it's off. We're gonna make this on. So select that one, see, right here is on already. And then select this one as well. This will warn you when the transaction is in assign a class. And under assign classes, you have uh, one to entire transaction or one to each row in transaction. I prefer to choose one to each row in transaction. Uh, so this comes in handy when you enter bill and uh, you have uh, a split and it goes to different classes. So this is the one I select. And under under track locations, I'll leave this blank. Let's save it. And done. As you can see here, track classes on. Done. Okay, now next thing we want to do is go back to gear, company gear again. And now, we want to uh, uh, list classes now. So you go in here, all list. So we're gonna set up classes right here, classes under list, select this one. Okay, and now we want to create new. And uh, let's go back to our, uh, uh, this perfect example. This is our employee center and uh, uh, my payroll is already on and if it's not active then you will say turn on payroll right here so you have to turn that on in this case uh, payroll is already on and I have uh, three employees active employees and uh, inactive I have two in here so uh, all employees in employee center I have five in here and uh, active ones only three okay so we go back to all list here I'm gonna uh, create classes in here so click this one so you have to decide uh, how you're gonna create classes you have to think about this and I th thought about this and in this case I'm gonna create three classes one is admin and second one I'm gonna create is production and the third one I'm going to create is sales in here okay so I have three classes in here and now we want to go to payroll settings go back to the company gear again right here it's payroll settings right here so if you, if you don't see it here under setting, that means your payroll is not on yet. So you have to go back and under employees and uh, turn your payroll on. So select this one, payroll settings. Okay. And under preferences here, you will see accounting. Right here is accounting. Click that one. okay and you want to customize this so click customize button so scroll all the way down and you will see classes in here right here and so you want to select these I use different classes for different employees so if you're going to assign same class for all the employees you select that one in this case I want to select use different classes for different employees Check this one and now they ask me for a checking number. Let's put some number in here. 
that's very active, a real number, but in this case I'm just going to put some number there and click OK. Okay, so now I have uh, uh, five employees on the list, two happens to be inactive, three, uh, three still active, okay. So let's just go back and how we want to assign this. Let's say this one is production, this one is sales, and this one is admin. So the first one, this one let's say, is production oh, I don't want to change this to production okay and the second one let's say it's sales and third one let's say it's admin here okay so on this one although they are inactive they may have work for uh, some somewhere like maybe production or sales Let's assume that the John Johnson were for production department or production class. Let's select that one. And then this one, another one, let's say uh, used to be a salesperson. Select that one. Okay, so now we have everything covered. Okay. Uh, then click this one. Okay, so we come down here. Now we'll asking want to update existing transactions too. So uh, if you've been running payroll for a while and you just uh, decided to assign classes and you want to uh, assign classes for fast transactions, then you have to come back here and change the starting date here. Not only you want to do it for the uh, for, for the current fiscal year, let's just say it's 2015, right here, and update it. And so it's done. It says success. We updated existing transactions dated after 1 1 2015. And just click it. So that's all to it. And uh, next time when you're on your payroll and uh, post to QuickBooks, uh, when you run PL by class, you will see uh, all your payroll expenses uh, distributed by class. So that's, that's all. Thanks for uh, watching this video. Bye.